I want to call this section avoiding contamination of injectors. Now, this is a TSB. I'm just going to read through these bullet points real quick and we can say it applies to any common rail injection system because they essentially all have a lot of the same things that are common between vehicle to vehicle. The, for this GMTSB 030604-36, it's a Duramax injector uh, removal replacement precautions. Whether you're replacing the injectors with new ones, reman ones, or you're just pulling them out and putting them back in later, you're, you know, you're doing some work on the engine, you have to get the injectors out. What you want to do is a first step, and this is going to be because these guys are so subject to contamination problems. I don't mean like big junks of stuff that you can see, but small things. And you know how dirty it is working under the hood of a diesel. You want to do all these things on any vehicle. Blow away the debris with shop air from the injector feed line fittings. Wear safety glasses, obviously. Second item, you're going to follow up with some lithium grease. So you're actually going to put a little protection after you've cleaned it around the fittings on the injector side to prevent any dirt from wrenches, your fingers, and so forth. And hopefully you're keeping clean gloved hands at this point as you take that nozzle or that, that line off, that feed tube off that injector. That's going to be sprayed onto the injector and the fittings itself. Don't use a wire brush once you get that injector out. So a little bit more on that as we go further forward. Next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to look at the bottom of the injector. You're going to look to see if it's tan or blue or on some injectors on the bottoms. We'll go ahead and take one of these guys, um, little caps off.